Yeah, with, with Detroit, I don't work with everything. I done did everything in Detroit from a hole in the wall to the palace, you hear me? <laughs> every every yeah. venue in there. So, you know, in Detroit, that's, that's my hometown, born and raised in there. Born and raised in there. I did not, not across eight miles in, in Detroit. <laughs> it's a difference. You know, it's a big difference. A lot of guys be saying they're from Detroit, they ain't. They're not from Detroit, you know. The boy no, away is in there. No, Isham, you know what I'm saying, he influenced pretty much a whole a whole genre, a whole generation of people, you know what I'm saying. Um, what, what about his, did he have any influence on you and what you do? Yes, he actually is the blueprint to to everything. To, because Isham showed how to independently you don't have to deal with the mainstream. Isham showed everybody a long time ago, you don't have to deal with the mainstream. You can do this yourself. And you grind it yourself. And he showed how to, with merchandising and all that, you know, merchant and, and selling shows, he showed how to do it in the independent the game. And Isham really, he, I only think, only think he had one major deal out of his whole career. I think he was with um he had one deal with Koch. Uh, I'm not for sure. I think he had that deal with Koch. T V T distributed. I believe T V T he was with T V T before Little John. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was, he had when R L P turned into Gotham Overcourt and everything, yeah, he was with T V T. Yeah, he was the you know, each time was the first one to do a double double cassette C D. Yeah, you know, he yeah. did the double cassette. And, you know, he did. He, was ahead he of did a lot of. Yeah. yeah, he was ahead of his time. He was ahead of his but time. At a young age, man, he was like 13 when he was doing all this, man. That's that's what's so incredible. Though. He was like 13 years old, man. He's 43 today, actually. I mean, <laughs> right. he was, it's just it blows your mind how has ahead of the game he really was. I mean, to recognize that is so young, man, and like he created a genre. Like you know, like, there's so many people out right now that. They wouldn't wouldn't have made it without without Eshan doing it back in the day. I mean, he yeah, put Detroit every, there. It's not it's not an artist really that come out of Detroit that's not influenced by Eshan. It's not. It's Eshan. He he's the you know he's that guy that he, he, <laughs> boom from Boom Wars to hell wherever Eshan laid the laid the blueprint down for Detroit artists. Period. It, you know. People got to pay homage to Esau. I know Eminem came along, but even Eminem will tell you. He going to say yeah, that he's yeah, influenced he by Esau. Yeah, he said yeah, on his he, first he, album. Yeah, he's influenced by Esau. So, you know, and ICP, ICP got their blueprint from Esau. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they pay homage to ICP be doing the damn thing, too. You know, they got... Yeah, wrestling. He shot, shit. Shot was all over their first album, you know. And, and, uh, right. They, 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 they do pay homage to him, you know. I'll give them that. Like they, they always make right. clear where they, where they came from. I will give them that. But, yeah, they, 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 they make have, it they, clear. They, uh, they have yeah. in the past. I have heard them. And they, uh, and, and you know, even though I don't particularly like their music, I do have to give them props. I mean, them dudes are, are uh, one of the uh, uh, best business minded you know, labels and, and groups in the history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. know what to keep a band sure, base man, for 20, 25 plus they got, years. They got, yeah, they you got know. that fan base that they go platinum underground. They go on platinum underground. They without, you know, they kept years in like in the 90s. Those guys were selling a million records underground. No managers. Yeah. So they, they, you they, know, they, they that's... You know what I mean? They, they stayed underground, man. They were on fucking Woodstock. I mean, look, look what they do now. That's one thing I do respect about them, though. Like, the, the whole gathering of the Juggalos thing, like, they don't just keep it to their artists. You know what I mean? They they put on a lot of legends on, on there. You know what I mean? They had Slick Rick there this right. year. You know, uh, you know, the Scarface and the Ghetto Boys did a reunion show there. You know, they, 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 right. they, you know, they, they pay homage, you know. Like I said, I'm not really into their music that much anymore, but I respect the hell out of them, no doubt. 
yeah, they they pay homage to hip hop and they the, the gatherings. Of, I did one of them the, um, with Project Born. Project Born was on a was kind of a hype man at one of the shows in Detroit some years ago. Or with Paul Sane brought me out there and with ICP they brought me on stage and they did well, Project Born performing. You know that that was actually my first show on stage with the ICP and. You know the Fago shit. <laughs> but yeah, you know they 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 got they got they they got this shit going, man. And and you know they hey they, but hey, they rap better than Lil Yachty. I tell you that they yeah, they yeah, better than Lil Yachty. Anybody, yeah, anybody. I'd take a Juggalo over a Lil Yachty fan any day, man. <laughs> I would take Vanilla Ice over Lil Yachty. I think Vanilla yeah, Ice yeah. will yeah. fuck over them guys. You know the, oh, yeah. the people that we we looked at, and, and, and we was like, oh yeah, yeah, they will fuck over them guys right now. You put the I'll, yeah. I'll put the house on there.